वेलकम गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल अध्ययन विद फ्लो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद आवर नेक्स्ट फाइलम आर्थोपोडा गाइस द स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ दिस फाइलम इज फर्स्ट इज दिस इज द लार्जेस्ट फाइलम इन एनिमल किंगडम सेकंड दे हैव मोर एंड मोर डेवलप्ड पोडा मींस फीट दे हैव जॉइंटेड फीट दिस इज सम स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस फाइलम नाउ ऑल कैरेक्टर सेम लाइक दे आर बायोसिमेट्रिकली they are triploblastic segmented body coelomates guys this is the largest phylum and you all familiar with this phylum insects guys butterfly this is in arthropoda grasshopper this is in arthropoda guys scorpio this is in arthropoda and this is the prawn this is also in arthropoda see guys every kind of variation diversity in this phylum like they can fly they can herbivores they can carnivores and they are aquatic means arthropoda they are terrestrial as well as aquatic as well as they can fly before in these phylum no one can fly no one can fly guys no one can fly but now arthropoda this phylum is special feature is next is they can fly means it means they have wings yes like butterfly they have wings or not yes guys they have wings they have segmented body okay segmented body is also present in annelida but they are some difference their body consists with head part head part thoracic part and the remain is what the remain is abdomen this is the head part this is the thoracic part and the rest is abdomen head part thoracic part and rest is abdomen head part thoracic part and rest is abdomen first is head part second is thorax part and third is abdomen now guys they have jointed appendages means their leg is not a proper like us like humerus tibia fibula they have jointed here is joint one joint and here is another joint here is another joint here is another joint another 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 joint multiple joints in their feet multiple joints in their feet so third property is their body consists with head thorax and abdomen and now guys they have respiratory system yes guys they have little bit well developed respiratory system like gills gills present in aquatic aquatic animals book lungs book gills or little bit tracheal system this is for terrestrial guys they have open type of circulatory system i know this is something advanced they are special but doesn't mean they have well circulatory system like us huh? okay there is little bit open type of circulatory system they don't have advanced type of arteries and veins and well elaborate heart and their structure guys but they have sensory organs next feature is what they have sensory organs sensory organ means they can sense they can sense it may be light it may be touch it may be temperature it may be any kind of ferro hormones they can sense i'm writing here can i write here they may be sense these sensory organs what they sense it may be temperature all right it may be pheromones it may be pheromones and it may be touch light okay these sensory organ also helpful in vision heat senses look at here the sensory organ name is first is antennae first is antennae eyes responsible for vision the stethoscopes or balancing organ are present now excretion takes place through the male pygian tubules guys these tubules help out how they collect collect nitrogen waste and excrete from the body they are mostly oviparous they release egg they show both direct and indirect fertilization example is maximum example look at here apis bombyx guys they make what honey they make what silk lacifer lactica they make lark we use in bangles we use in bangles guys they work as a vector transfer disease like anopheles fleas aedes mosquitoes guys some pests like locust living fossicles limulus so this is all about what arthropoda this is all about arthropoda they are mostly dioecious means sexes are separated separated yes or not separated us okay guys next move towards the next phylum we call it as a mollusca guys they are second largest phylum second largest phylum and mollusca means soft body soft body because of soft body they protect their self in calcium carbonate shell one of the best example is phyla octopus is also soft body 
but they are toxic in nature na so they can protect their self they are terrestrial as well as aquatic organ system well organized bilateral symmetric now all are still plate helminth seems to call it all are bisymmetrical triploblastic same 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 guys same body covered with calcareous cells see this you think now body divided into head muscular foot and visceral hump now this is the important thing a soft and spongy layer of skin form a mantle over the visceral hump the space between the hump and mantle is called as a mantle cavity guys right? this is the hump and this is the mantle the space between hump and mantle we call it as a mantle cavity they respire with the help of gills they have respiratory organ they have excretory organ both they also have sensory tentacles they can sense their prey the mouth contain a file like ra uh, rasping organ or feeding we call it as a radula they chewing their food with the help of radula okay they are dioecious means sexes are separated oviparous they release egg indirect means they have larva look at here example remember this example this is in your lab also uh, this is uh, also in your lab check out your biology lab guys example is pila this is their common name pinectoda we make a moti beetle sapia loligo octopus apocelia uh, okay octopus uh, does not compose that this is in your lab but they all are in your lab chitin yeah chitin this is also in your lab yeah they look like a dentilium they uh, look like a teeth look like a teeth look like a teeth guys so now arthropoda is complete now mollusca is complete let's talk about echinodermata our next phylum okay echinodermata special feature is what they have highly highly developed water vasculatory system water vasculatory system they have highly developed this vasculatory system guys this is the example of echinodermata first is starfish one of the best example and another one of inura of inura guys these things also present in your lab in fact guys i cut this starfish and they have very 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 advanced water canal system very 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 advanced vector vascular system okay center point and these canals are arise from the radial center canal they can move by this water vascular system this is the special feature of echinodermata guys they have their endoskeleton they made up with calcareous ossicles guys they have the look at here there is spiny spiny uh, structures spines they protect their self spiny body na that's why they call it as a echinoderm derm means skin echino means spiny all are marine this is a statement guys all are marine with organ system level guys all are marine not terrestrial not flying anything the adult echinodermata are radial symmetrical if i cut in different plane they can dissect not uh, bilateral symmetry is fixed but larva are bilateral their larva is bilateral triploblastic coelomates again digestive system is complete mouth to last part anus now they have water vascular system they helpful in locomotion movement capture food transport the food exchange of food respiration now excretion system is absent because they perform their excretion by water respiratory system sexes are separated means male starfish and female starfish are different fertilization is usually external development is indirect i use this term na larval means indirect and freezing look at here there is example of asterias echinus antidon these are also present in your lab cucumeria afinura afinura this these are a the common name you have to learn this common name also sea urchin is most important guys in keystone species important important you know na sea otter guys sea otter sea otter they feed what sea urchin because sea urchin feed some kind of kelp what is kelp these are algae they maintain some economic importance also now next phylum is what next is hemichordata now guys why i say hemi because this is the half half chordate this is the what half chordate they are not fully chordate they are half chordate their body divided into proboscis collar and trunk look at here guys what a beautiful structure balanoglossus this is your lab also and next example is sacroglossus all right they have little bit chord that little bit not a chord look at here this what that's why they don't have fully developed nerve cord and not a chord they have little bit not a chord so that's why we talk about hemichordate that's why this phylum is called it as a half chordate those animal which have some cord like structure some not a cord like structure little bit developed we take in this phylum clear guys development is as it is every feature is as it is now fertilization is external development is indirect means they are they show their larval stage sexes are separated means dioecious guys excretory organ is proboscis gland they have proboscis gland and respire through gills normal open circulatory system simple guys very simple or not bilateral symmetrical triploblastic coelomates simple guys simple cylindrical body everything is similar bilateral look at here if i cut bilaterally they divide into two equal part so guys today we complete arthropoda mollusca and hemi and echinodermata 
that is all for now. I think this is enough, this is sufficient for in this video. We will meet in next video. So, take care guys and thank you for watching me, supporting me. Thank you so much and do not forget to subscribe my channel Adhyan with Flow. Thank you so much.